when she brought me up from the waiting room in the bottom of Halton uh, to the audition room at Callbacks. And I don't know how many of you know this, but I was like deathly ill for my callback. Like, not like <laughs> I'm sick, like I had no voice. It was so horrendous. And as we walked up, I basically just spilled my guts to her. I was like, I'm so nervous. I'm sorry you have to sit through this. This is going to be the worst thing ever. Like, it was just, I was a mess. And Lauren reassured me, and she was like, you know, you can sing. We heard your audition. Like, there's a reason you're here. You're going to be OK. Um, and I'm not going to lie to you. I thought she was full of shit. <laughs> um, it turns out she wasn't. Um, so shortly after getting chosen to be a part of this wonderful group of humans, um, I realized that not only had she been telling me the truth, but that Lauren DeVito would be one of the most genuine people that I would meet during my time here at Boston College. <laughs> because not only does she have the talent, but more importantly, she has the heart. When I watch her perform, she's always so vibrant and passionate. It literally brings a smile on my face. I mean, like, you guys all just saw that. <laughs> I'm a little boy. Um, she has so much love for the group, and it's always working to make us better, serving as a true leader and role model, even though she's never held a leadership position. She maintains the perfect balance between being a total goofball during rehearsal <laughs> and being able to focus and buckle down when needed. And I think we should all aspire to be more like her. Also, I'd like to say the best thing that Lauren Duke has ever done for me and Creep. Yes! Um, so I have been super lucky to get to know Lauren not only as a member of the acoustics, but also as like a real life friend. Um, when, when Lauren started to be friendly, honestly, I felt like really special and cool. Um, I didn't really understand why someone like her would want to hang out with a random underclassman, but I'm really glad you did, because over the past year and a half, you easily become one of, um, one of the people, one of the best people I know, and you will have a certain place in my life. Um, whether we're grabbing 4.30 p.m. dinners and lower, <laughs> hanging out in the library, and I say hanging out because when we were together, we never studied. Um, but we did all the <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 